Hey guys, Kevin here. Getting back to basics. I think this is so important, not just in martial arts, but in our life right now today. But first, let's talk about martial arts. I see a lot of students, a lot of my students, they are in a hurry to just learn and rush and, you know, just get to the next moves, get to the next form, get to the next belt. And they're just kind of, they're learning the movements, but they're not mastering the movements. They, you know, especially in the lower belts, you know, you start out with white belt and you learn the basic blocks and the kicks and the punches, your first couple of forms. And, you know, once you've got those down, you're like in a hurry. You know, you're in a hurry to just get, get to the next level. And you don't really take the time and put in the time to master them, to get all the mechanics down, to get your waist moving and twisting into the movement. All these little fine points, you don't take the time to train them. You are taught them, but you're in such a hurry that you kind of glaze over those things. And it shows, when it comes test time, it shows. You need to be very conscious of all the little things in your basics because your basics build the foundation. They build the foundation of the art and how you're going to be as a martial artist going forward. If your basics are sloppy, then you're building on quicksand. You know, you can learn all the fancy moves and the kicks, but when it comes time to actually um, prove that you you know and you have an in-depth knowledge of the art you're studying, it's not going to be there. Lord forbid you ever have to use what you learn on the street and it doesn't work for you because your punches lack power, because you're not performing them correctly, or your block doesn't work. It, you know, you don't, that is the worst time to find out that you should have practiced and really gotten your basics down. The basics are huge, so don't glaze over them. But going back to basics, also beyond martial arts, going back to basics, with our life right now with this pandemic and all the craziness going on, especially in America, we are getting bombarded with all this information, all these arguments, all these riots, all these emergencies that pop up. You know, the fear machine is in high gear with new strains of the virus, not having enough vaccine, having to get the vaccine, and all this other craziness. We need to really start getting back to basics. Because if you sit there and you worry about all the little garbage that's going on, the latest thing that they're trying to get you afraid of to keep us locked down, if you're worrying about all that, you're, you're never, number one, you're probably going to sleep. You're always going to feel stressed. Get back to basics. We need to get back to what's important. Being kind to one another. Putting your family first. If, your parent, if you're blessed enough to have your parents alive, spend time with your parents while they're there. You never know how long we've got. We've only got so many. Each one of us has a limited amount of time on this planet, on this earth. And none of us know when that time's up. It could be 10 seconds from now. We don't know. And we've gotten so wrapped up in social media and online this and online that and the craziness in the world that we are forgetting about the basic things that are important in life. Family, your faith, friendship, relationships, being kind and helping one another out. You know, these things, we need to get back to basics. And I just wanted to go ahead and get this video out there because this has been something that's just been on my mind all day. Getting back to basics, getting back to basics. And I myself am getting back to basics, both in my training and in my life. And I just wanted to put this out there and encourage you guys to get back to basics. Make 2021 a year of getting back to basics. 
resetting and going back and focusing on what's important in your training and in your life. We'll see you in the next video.